Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com in strength of material regarding creeping load on column. Let us do some solving problem. Look at this example. A solid round bar of 3.5 meter long and 6 centimeter in diameter is used as a strut with the following end conditions. Both ends hinged, one end is fixed and other end is free. Both ends are fixed and fourth one is one end is fixed and other end is hinged. Take E equal to 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square. First of all, we write the given things. Length L of the strut equal 3 meter. Three point five meter not three meter three point five meter then E X model is equal to two point zero into ten power five Newton per mm squared. and diameter diameter is 6 cm is 6 cm is we can say in meter is 60 mm now i equal Y by 64 into 60 or 4, which is equal 63 mm power 4. Now, crippling load P equal. Uh, here its first condition is both ends are hinged both ends are hinged for creeping load is pi squared pi squared ei over l squared we are substituting the values pi squared e is 2.0 into 10 power of 5 I is 63 58 over L. L is 3500 the square L square. So by calculation, which gives 102 five five into the power of 3. Newton, which gives 102.355 kilonewton. So the crippling load for both end hinge is 102.355 kilonewton. Now, second part is one end is fixed and the other end is free. Look at this table. We are using this table for uh, both end is hitch, hinged is L is equal to length of the strut is equal to equivalent length. One end is fixed and the other end is free. Then uh, equivalent length is equal to 2 into length of strut. Then we are using these conditions or uh, so using the conditions for this one first uh, this is uh, first one is both end hinged second second is one end of the strut is fixed and the other end is free. For that, <coughs> one 
name is fixed. Other end is free. <coughs> For that, LE equivalent length is L equal to L. So, crippling load P is equal. Here, formula is L squared comes. Here, L squared means uh, from this we can see L is L e by 2. Then L squared equal L e squared by 4. So you have to divide. I have to multiply by 4 because it's uh, uh, down and go up. This divide by 4. So therefore, crippling load already we have both end hinge is on 0, 2.35 kN, then that is divided by 4 for one end fixed, other end is free, which gives 25.6 kN crippling load. Then third part, both end fixed, Both end fixed is L equal to L E equal L by 2. For this, gripping load is that is uh, L squared by 2, that is 4 comes as a denominator, that 4 go up, that 4. Then four times into one zero two point three five five, which is equal four zero nine point four kilonewton. This is for both end fixed. Then fourth point is. One end is fixed and other end is hinged. For this, one end is fixed. And other end is hinged. For this, L equal L by root 2. Therefore, P equal root 2 square is 2, that is 2 times 102, 102 102.35 equal to 04.7 kilometer. So far we discussed about the solving problem regarding end conditions of strut. That is, <coughs> here <coughs> four conditions are given. Uh, both ends hinged, one end is fixed and other end is free. Both ends are fixed and one end is fixed and other end is hinged. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.